Many of our ponds in Texas are full, if not overflowing, from uh, the heavy rains that we've had throughout 2016. And so here we are in June, just beginning to get into our summer weather pattern, uh, air temperatures reaching the mid-90s now. And, and for those landowners that are managing their ponds for fish production, this is the time of year to guard against having an oxygen depletion in your farm and ranch pond uh, and keep from losing all those fish that you've been managing for. Uh, this is a, a nice quarter acre catfish pond here in East Texas. You can see the feeding ring where the landowner provides the supplemental ration for the catfish. Uh, for them to come up and feed on as he feeds every day. And uh, many landowners want to maximize their production potential for fish in the, even these small ponds, such as this one quarter acre pond. And it has the capability of producing 250 pounds of edible size fish per surface acre per year. So there's a lot of production potential even for these smaller ponds that may have not been built for fish production at all. They're probably built for either livestock watering or irrigation. But but they make fantastic uh, fisheries if you'll manage the pond correctly. But as landowners stock these ponds and feed these fish, they're capable of gaining a minimum of a pound of weight per growing season. And so we try not to carry more than a thousand pounds of fish per surface acre as we go into the summer months. As our air temperatures escalate, our water temperatures arise accordingly. And uh, as the water warms, it's just incapable of holding as much oxygen as it would be back in the spring months or the, or the winter months particularly. So we have the capability of holding less oxygen in the ponds and that summer period represents a time when actually the fish being a cold-blooded animal needs more oxygen. So if you're going to have an oxygen depletion problem, it's typically going to be in the months of June through September. But some things to watch for if you've got a pond going into the summer and you've got more than a thousand pounds of fish per surface acre or in this quarter acre pond 250 pounds of fish, uh, watch carefully and if you're at that level, need to go ahead and take some fish out because they're going to continue to grow with that feeding program through the summer. So cut back on your uh, poundage of fish present in that pond to get it below or at least at that carrying capacity of a thousand pounds of fish per acre. And then when we get into some hot, still cloudy days, uh, the recipe is right for an oxygen depletion to occur, particularly in these heavily stocked catfish ponds. Uh, we have no direct sunlight reaching the pond on those cloudy days, no wind action to stir the pond to increase oxygen. And after about two or three days uh, of those weather conditions, then uh, oxygen can become limiting fall at three parts per million or below and actually have fish start dying. Uh, if you suspect an oxygen depletion, the best time to check your pond is right at daylight. For a 24 hour period uh, of, of day and night, uh, your oxygen levels will be at their daily lowest right at daylight. And so one sign that uh, you'll have a fish uh, having a low oxygen supply is you'll see numerous fish up at the surface almost gasping for air. And what they're doing is concentrating right at that air water interface where the oxygen level, even in a limited oxygen situation, is at its highest. So if you see that situation, uh, you're carrying too many pounds of fish or you have those weather conditions that are conducive for an oxygen depletion to occur in the summer, uh, you have to act pretty quickly to increase the oxygen level in that pond to prevent a complete die off of the fish present. Uh, one thing that you can do is back a boat up on a trailer into the water, leave the boat in a stationary position on the trailer, crank it, put it in gear, and let it circulate that water in that pond and bring more water in contact with that air interface. That'll increase oxygen levels. Uh, another thing that you can do is use a pump and set the uh, intake of that pump in shallow water uh, within about two or three feet of the surface and then spray water back over the surface of that pond, again trying to establish a circulation pattern uh, to increase the oxygen content present. So watch your pond, especially in these ponds that have a, a heavy catfish population, a lot of weight of fish present. Uh, be mindful of that thousand pound per surface acre maximum rule of thumb as you go into the hot summer months and uh, either remove some of those fish or watch very carefully as we get into these hot still cloudy days, the dog days of summer, uh, that you do not have an oxygen depletion and lose your fish population.